Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. We are again uh, continuing our legacy run. My name is Saiken and I am going to uh, take you onto this wild ride with uh, Lily Peng, Cheng, Peng, whatever, uh, who is trying to get uh, the seat of an old crashed down um, uh, aircraft because apparently she has like fucked up the seat of um, of Bradford. That happens. Let's take a first glance. I cannot see any enemies immediately, but we want to engage enemies as fast as possible. Out. Hence, let me move out and see if we can spot something. Oh, we could explode that car. Probably not the best idea. As you Commander. We're still being un, uh, in, uh, in concealment. Changing position. Let's grapple onto the rooftop here. I will go. There is the first potential enemy contact with a single tower. That can barely count for an enemy contact. Time to motor. Cut the proximity mine so there is a high motivation to um, to use our cells in our advantage for the first turn. I like the new swords, by the way, the laser swords just look very, very good. I cannot wait to play a campaign with the new models. It's a good thing this interceptor showed up on the scans when it did. After the malfunction, I wasn't sure how I'd explain the missing chair to Central. He's been dead set on having it ready for when the commander returns. At first I thought he was being sentimental, but now I'm not so sure. You don't think... Okie dokie, that uh, looks an awful lot like the Overwatch we were, uh, the Overwatch trap we were looking for. That's a decent uh, remote start right there. Hmm. I think we're going to wait one more turn, although it's going to cost us some points. I want to have a clean start. Lily over here makes a lot of sense. And let's put our ranger right over here. Solid copy. I want to use him for flanking and for a couple of other things. Okay. Uh, maybe please let's not be spotted out. I thought I'd be doing this off on my own. Amazingly, I had more than enough volunteers before I made it out the door. I can only assume it's out of respect for the commander. You don't think they came out here for my sake, do you? Okay, so that's a pick of three. 
This pick here is easier. next turn as for our ranger <sighs> I mean up here isn't too be uh, too bad we're not going to be spotted out. And we can make the deliberate decision to actually take the turret next turn. So that's an overwatch right here. In terms of remote start. Got a couple of options here. This one is interesting because we could blow half of uh, this house away just by remote starting. Since we're not doing anything this turn, might as well see if we can hit some enemies here. That could be a pack, we never know. Remote start is not going to reveal ourselves. The answer is, there was no pack. Oh, they move closer to the car. That's a great remote start location, by the way. Pull ourselves towards the mech. Cute. Yeah, we're not going to do that. But what we're what we can do is actually kill both of them. Yeah, we only got 200 uh, bonus points uh, now instead of 500. Uh, they are multiplied by two for larger enemies, so that's why it was 400. Yeah, 200 out of 500 bonus points is where we currently are at. The reason I'm not afraid to stand here at the edge, even if we would have missed, uh, Codex is not doing anything other than um, than uh, using a psi bomb. Combat protocol deals seven to eight points of damage, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Before we do so, let's do the scanning protocol. It's going to take the first round. It'll mark potential enemies. We know about these guys, we know about the tower, there's nothing else around. Tower is down. And we're moving closer 
mainly to trigger that pack in the next round. Understood, moving out. Roger, I've got my eyes on. So they've just heard that there was a huge explosion. Back in the day, Dad would have just ordered another pilot seat. To think we're going through all of this for a chair. A sophisticated chair, capable of about 42 trillion calculations a second, but a chair nonetheless. Yeah, that's the shrapnel is a good way to start uh, this pack. I want to have uh, the uh, the ranger as um, as a party member, and as long as he's uh, not yet revealed, we're actually one person short. So we're going to use Loading a reload here, the time uh, uh, to optimize our, I'll leave this here. Um, our action. And this here, my dearest friends, is going to be a fine explosion for you. Take that. Yeah, triple kill. They see me. Easy. The next pot had been has been wiped out. Roger that. And since we do not have any more speed bonus now, we can just slow down. Take it I easy. Readying weapon. I will watch. Got it covered. We had a lot of explosions here. What I wouldn't give to see one which should attract the, the enemies, and we got a wonderful cards, scout to people, double check I don't see that who's being here. Anytime soon. Advent owns the skies. We get the Avenger up and running again, though, and I promise that will change. As much as I like the high ground, we're too far away from enemies, so we unfortunately got to move. Moving there. Moving in. I will not wait. Moving to Overwatch. I shoot whatever moves. Overwatch. Right? We continue to now progress with our Overwatch uh, traps. No one said anything to me about it, but I know this is all on me. I am Raymond Shen's kid. I don't get to make these kinds of mistakes. Not anymore. Not when he's not here to fix them. I can do better. I will do better. <sighs> Huge pack, by the way. Maybe should have. Um saved our claymore for uh, for those guys however if we can get them into an overwatch trap we should be fine Also, still got mimic beacons, which is pretty much a life insurance. I move. I am watching. Reapers are always on vigilant. I'm on it. Come get right. Done. Full Overwatch. Let's see if they move towards our destination. Have they moved at all? No. Apparently not. Yeah, at some point we need to trigger them. Hmm. 
They will get into cover. They are still out of line of sight. Getting a grenade into uh, into them would be pretty pretty good. Out of line of sight under here. far away from hitting them would we be their vision range is relatively high well and thanks to destroying all potential obstacles here <laughs> we only have this bit of um, cover to work with but to sort of interest on the other side Hmm. There seems to be not m much sneaking that we could do. Do we want to give them one more turn? Because time doesn't matter now. But maybe we want to give them one more turn to to walk into us. Oh yeah. Which would actually be Moving very helpful. Am I moving it on? No, they're pretty fixed on the chair. Psst. Because yeah, you know. Such a chair can be quite valuable. So I guess we need to trigger them. It is what it is. But I'm not afraid. At the end it's just another pack. Elven Officer, Elven Trooper, Heavy Stun Lancer. Um, let's see. I want to go for full cover here. And this turn is going to be the Mimic Beacon turn. But still, we need to do something, i.e. remove some cover. Which is, going to, uh, one, which is going to happen with this grenade. There you go, two down. Start with the advent um, captain. Unfortunately, we haven't critted him. With a crit, he would have been dead. Confirmed. Moving on to the stun lancer. We unfortunately Enemy missed. Very, very unfortunate. Uh -huh. 
So we can deal four uh, damage with our uh, combat protocol. We could finish off um, the advent, um, the advent um, captain. Why am I always struggling with remembering that it's a fucking advent captain? And we can kill uh, this guy here. Yeah, that's a likely more than 50% chance to kill him. If Lily moves in to here. For her, we would be looking at even more than a 50% chance. She is um, she has a higher chance of killing this guy, so let's use her shot. Because she has higher base damage. Next up, we're killing the Advent Officer. And now it's Hammond Beacon time. Moving up, we still got Shredder, which will deal uh, very well with this guy. Of course, if we hit him, that is. You don't know how relieved I was to see that chair. Try to kill him. Blood trail. Actually, pretty decent damage. Lily moves up, and I think she can kill the mutant. Okay. Moving up further, it will be done. we're putting this guy out of cover. Oh, nice. Stunned for the next round. And killed. There's still another alien pack left, as well as there wouldn't be any alien movement. Which means we're diving back into shadow. Let's take a look what we're up against. An alien scouting party. Ooh. I still want to keep the high ground here, at least some, uh, some of it. We're not in a hurry. Moving. 
Okay, so Lily, what are we going to do with you? They are not moving at all. Okay. There is a huge truck right next to them. Needless to say, that remote start is going to obey. fuck them up. <laughs> okay. Is anyone even having more than 12 hit points? No. Okay, that's GG right there. Remote start. Don't get caught up. Bam. Done. Oh, the priest dodged the explosion. Well, that's something else. Last pick, so I can go all in. He's stunned next turn. Oh, let me correct that, he's not stunned next turn. He's pretty dead. With the aliens taken care of, I just had to move and scan the chair so we could leave. So I think that was it, right? I think that was it. I love a challenge. Yeah, we almost scored 40,000 out of 50,000. This could have gone a lot differently. I won't ever forget that. I got the seat scanned and assembled the replacement good as new. Possibly better. The bridge crew and staff never seemed to notice, though I did hear Central say something about the cup holder somehow getting moved to the wrong side. So we don't want to trade away the Mimic Beacons, they are pretty es essential for us. Frag Grenades will increase to a Flash Grenade, that's okay. Proximity Mine will increase with an Incendiary Bomb, which I think is a better idea, yeah. I, don't re I really don't like Proximity Mines. Um, and Incendiary Bombs are great. And EMP bombs aren't bad either, specifically against um, mechanical targets. Interesting, we got Capacitator Discharge, which isn't bad. Reconceal on the Ranger. Whiplash is free damage. Needle. Um, and Distraction. Distraction can again re um, stealth him for a third time. Polar targeting. Oh, and we got a sniper. Oh, nice. That was just what was missing. Long watch, squad sight, uh, fire pistol. I hope that uh, the sniper has a couple more abilities and not just long watch and fire, uh, fire pistol. But we're going to see that during the next session. That is, this is actually super helpful. We could uh, we could use another damage dealer. So, where the last mission was good, uh, well, actually the last two had been pretty good. Chief Engineer's log, day one hundred. This is big, real big. 
A recon drone just ID'd a crashed alien scout. That's right. Alien scout. The AI on those things is beyond state of the art. It also happens to be the same system that originally piloted the Avenger. If I could clone the system, bring it back here and modify it, I could get the main computer back online. Just before Central kills me for trying something so reckless and stupid. Positions concealed. We're under orders from Central to oh, get to this the scout, looks... salvage any useful alien tech we can find, and get the hell out. Fast. Uh, we're Anyways, looking at... Fifty uh, six thousand five hundred again. So far, so good. But that's going to happen in the next mission, guys. Um, we have now a squad of six people together with the sniper. Or I'm I'm feeling that we're doing reasonably well. Um, way different way to play the game. I enjoy the squad um, layout that we have because it's completely different to how I would usually spec uh, each of the characters um, and I'm of the opinion that someone who's good in XCOM needs to be able to adapt and play with different classes um, and di basically also with different loadouts. So uh, that's going to happen next mission. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it um, leave a comment down below. See you on the next mission. Bye-bye.